Hi everybody, this is Monday and um, I just wanted to come on and say hey, um, Debbie is back here. Uh, she got discharged from the hospital today and she seems to be doing good. Uh, and so uh, we've been visiting for a while, um, but I'm going to do, uh, well, let me just show you. I just wanted to come on and say, hey, so let me get the, the camera. Okay, we're going to do this. Now, I shared on my Facebook page that I made this mold, and I did this yesterday. Uh, and I, I will take you over here. I had bought this right here. Uh, I think uh, a couple weeks ago on my um, outing to Salvation Army, I believe. And I wanted to make a mold out of it um, to see how it would work. Now, I had an issue with leakage in this. Now, this may not be level because it is really, you see how choppy it is? Yeah, it's really choppy. I didn't think about it when I was doing it and something tells me it's not going to be level but we're going to try it and of course we're going to try it with mixture mold because it's the fastest uh, one that I can do and um, because I, I want to get a video up tonight and with Debbie being discharged today we were at the hospital um, and by the time I got home and, and I cooked dinner and, and got everything settled down, um, it's too late for me to do resin. Now, I could probably do the polyurethane. Hmm. I could probably do the polyurethane. Uh... Oh, I don't know. Now I'm torn, y'all. Now I am torn. Should I try the polyurethane? Or should I try the mixed mold? I don't think the markers are going to work on here. If the markers would work... And I saw somebody doing a video the other day with Let's Resin markers, which I didn't even know they had. Um... And she was just coloring in a mold just like using crayons. And I thought, boy, I wish I knew what those markers were because I would have gotten some of them. But let's see here. I do have the light, the light wish. So let's just, let's just try this. I was going to use the paint. You see how that bubbles up, though? That doesn't really stick. Yeah, see, that's not sticking. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let me just get the paint. Let's just try it. With the paint and I'll do the polyurethane maybe it won't take me that long uh, I'm going around a circle down, circles down here we're gonna be using those and they're not staying in this thing so I'm going to just pull out some greens Okay, and then I'm trying to make out what that is. That's, those are sheep, right? So they should be white, but, and those are mountains, and then that's a shepherd, right? Uh, let me get, the, okay, I'm, I'm doing it the hard way. Let me just look at this. Okay, and that's the book. See, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the book up here. So I can look at the book. I'm going to have the paint right there. We're going to start with leaves. 
and I'm looking for let's try this brush And I'm just opening them up right now. Is that the darkest grain? That says yellow, but that looks that looks like an orange to me. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the colors so I don't have to stop. Nope, the black was not open. That's the gray. That's basically what I wanted. Ooh, that's a pretty gray, actually. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see if this is going to be any better. I can't really see where it ends and where it starts. That's the problem with that. But it wipes off pretty good, so. And it definitely doesn't bubble, so. I'm going to put a little bit of that. Just to give it a little bit of coloration. Okay. And this may take a little bit longer. one of these huggies. Okay. Okay. What I wonder if I could use a combination. Let maybe that would be faster. 
So let's just try this real quick and see if doing the combination of both wouldn't be faster. That way I could get the outline. Ew, that's not a green. I could get the outline of the leaves. See, it's not going to stay because it bubbles, but if I did this just to to somehow get and then I could go back see it, it's it sort of allows me to see where the leaf is without looking at it really good and even though I'm going to have to go back up oop over with paint it gives me some kind of idea where the leaf is because I know I could spend a an hour just doing this and I'm going to try not to that's the Bible I hope y'all had a good weekend. I was able to rest a little bit. Uh, I did have to work on some stuff that I've not been able to work on, but I was able to rest. I'm not trying to stay within the line, y'all. <laughs> I'm doing this in a real big hurry. Because I know I can do exactly that. Just wipe it down. I'm just trying to get some kind of idea where the leaves are. Because I've got lights right on top of me. And so it's... I'm sort of working in, in, in the dark here. Uh... I know that is making sense I just said but it's it's like that light is so bright it makes it almost impossible to see a lot of this in a, a semi clear mold now if this was a blue mold or a black mold or it would be much easier but because this is a white almost semi transparent mold it is not that easy to see where uh, the stuff is. Yeah. I'm doing a video. Just answer it and ask her. Just tell her I'm down here doing a video. That's your mom, right? <laughs> That's Max. He's not going to say anything on camera. <laughs> uh, Ashley just tried to call me and so he brought me my phone. But he won't ever say anything on this camera. <laughs> Is it after a medicine? Yeah. Do they need to know something specific about it? They're after that right now. No, it's just it's a, a form of Pepsi. It's to coat her stomach. Are they at Walgreens? I would assume so. It's just said wait a minute and we need to find out what it is. It's the only prescription she should have at the medicine one. Form of Pepsi? It's a form of Pepsi. Yeah. Is there any other descriptions? No, drink? that's all I know. It's to coat her stomach. Sorry guys.
Now we're going to be using both. These are the markers that I got uh, from Lightwish, I believe. Even though they don't say Lightwish on them. These are the markers they sent me. And they actually do a fairly decent job on silicone. As you can see, And I will probably be finishing this up after it's cured. I will probably do some of the painting on it then too, I think. Okay, let's see if we can't get some regular paint on here. Now... I didn't take this out of the mold until this morning, so this may not be. Good and dry either. I don't know. It's not dry. It's They say you're supposed to wait 12 hours. And it's been 12 hours, but it's um I'm making a mess here. I need a smaller brush. But I let it sit in the, the mold all night long. So it's not been airing out for 12 hours, I guess is what I'm saying. And I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. I guess we'll find out. And as thin as that is, it still took a whole lot of silicone rubber. More than what I had thought it was going to. It was like 364 grams. Because yes, I had to weigh it all. And it's real thin. It's not... Uh... thick at all. In fact, I worry that it's going to be way too thin. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. I knew it was coming. I could feel it. And I realize my videos have gotten shorter. And I know that most of you really like my long videos. And some of you don't like my long videos. And <laughs> uh, it will probably be like this for a while. Because I don't have as much free time right now. But I'm still going to try to get videos out. This is my happy place down here. I so thoroughly enjoy this. Somebody left a rude message. <laughs> Um, a rude comment talking about how my videos were way too long and she couldn't watch them and I needed to stop making long videos and 
I'm just so glad I, I've never been that type of person where I felt like I had to just be so negative and leave nothing but negativity wherever I go because it's I don't see the point you know <laughs> if you don't like my videos just don't watch them <laughs> I don't know I don't know why someone feels the need to say that uh, I sort of feel really bad for them I don't think they realize just when they do that how they come across maybe they don't realize you know maybe if they did they wouldn't I don't know It used to bother me. It doesn't bother me anymore. I just sort of take it with a grain of sand and and think, oh, how sad. And then it's like I just delete it and go on. You see, I, I enjoy this. Some people would call this fiddly, okay? And, uh, to me, this is really relaxing. I love painting. I don't do it much anymore, but I absolutely love it. These paints have got a lot of pigment in there. Lots of pigment. Which is a good thing. Now I can see that one a little bit better. Ah, oh, see, I'm just making a mess. Okay.
and then I'm just taking colors by random sometimes I'm picking up the darker green sometimes I'm picking up the lighter green sometimes I put a little bit of yellow in with it sometimes I just pick up a little bit of white there's no basic way I just sort of do it as I feel it and that's exactly what you should be doing too don't try to copy somebody's because if you do you don't ever learn your technique in your way you're just trying to copy somebody else's way and you want to learn your way so just do your thing make it the way you like it and that's what counts if you like it or not and I don't like anything set I like it all different so some of it's going to have orange, some of it's going to be darker, some of it's going to be lighter some of it's probably going to be out of the lines <laughs> uh, and that's okay too because I mean have you ever really truly looked at a leaf I mean really I mean, we know what fake leaves look like probably more than what we know real trees look like. If you take and look at a real tree off, I mean real leaf off of a tree, I think you'd be surprised on how imperfect, perfect it is. Does that make sense? Yes, I believe nature is perfect, but in our eyes, sometimes it looks very imperfect because we're used to machine-made perfection which is not actually real okay now I'm going to see if I can find a liner brush a very tiny tiny liner brush is this going to do it let me see if this will do it nope Come on. Let me do this. Let me get this wet, really, really wet. And let me get it loaded.
There's a hair on this. And now this is not going to be perfect. I don't want it to be. I think Ashley and John just got back. I heard a car door. Okay, I'm going to reach over. So now I have one more left up here. Okay. Good enough, right? Yes, right. Okay. Okay, my question is, I know that's the pages, so I sort of want that gold right there. So let's see if I've got a gold. Ooh, there's an apricot color. Well, let's see if there's a gold. Let's see if that won't work for the pages. And I'm sort of following that down there as a semi guide. I can't really tell by the mold. So I'm looking at the original piece and sort of just trying to follow that a little bit. Do this. Okay. Those were all 
That's trees, okay. That's clouds, so where's somewhere the mountains go? Yeah, I'm looking at this. Trying to be able to see. Where's his staff? His staff is right there. Okay, this is turned backwards. And then he has sandals on. Trying to get some kind of outline. I know it's not realistic, but I'm just trying to get some kind of This is trees up through here. Okay. And then I don't know what that is, but there's something there. And these are clouds. OK. 
Okay. And then I'm going to take some of this paint. And we're just going to paint some green in here. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to make them look realistic, okay? trying to get some greenery Okay, I'm cleaning my brush out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to reach in here a little bit of the gray and the white. And I still have green, so that's not going to work. Let me try it again. A little bit of the white, a little bit of the gray. And I'm going to just real quickly, I got too much water in my brush. You see how it's beating up now? That is because I've got too much water in the paint. I don't want the yellow anyway. I don't know where the yellow is coming from. Oh, probably the gold that I put on here. So we'll just do this real quick and just put a blob on here and then come back in a minute. Yes, I know. And I'm just blobbing it. And that's okay because I'm going to be taking it off. Anyway, what is that right there? There's something right there by a staff. Oh, that's like part of the mountain. Okay. is really really yellow that gold pen is really really yellow <laughs> which is okay I just don't want yellow in a lamb I'm gonna add more white when That amazes me how much yellow is coming off of there. Yeah, 
Yeah, you do not want to mix water with these colors at all. That's a mistake I made. Because these are enamel, the water is what makes them bubble, okay? So if you're doing this, do not mix water. My, See, I got water on my... Let me, let me see if I can start with another paintbrush without water on it. Let's see if that will help. It probably won't because I've got water on there, but oh, it does help. See the difference? This paintbrush doesn't have water. Well, it didn't until I started putting it in this one. So I always start with a dry brush and, and don't stick it in with water. That is a mistake that I made. But that, that was my finger, y'all. That's okay. We're going to let it sit there for a minute. We're going to give him gray hair. Or maybe some salt and pepper hair. How about that? And I just want to use the colors I'm using, so I'm going to... Put this in for up here. And I can touch this up after it comes out too. See, I'm struggling here, and I don't have to. I forgot that I had these. Oh, perfect. Oh, see, I forgot that I had them. Um, oh, look at there. Look how easy peasy it is now. Oh, that is wonderful. And I'm going to go over this. And I'm just trying to get it off of the places it's not supposed to be. because it's I don't want those little bits to be on here either it dried is what the problem was and once it dries it's going to do this Uh-oh. Oh, it fell off.
Okay. I don't know if I wouldn't have been better off just leaving that alone because I think that's going to look horrible, but we'll see. I don't know what that is. That's the thing. I know it's a man, and I know he's he's leaning down, and I think he's got a sheep in his arms, but I can't really make out much else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of make it all the same color so I can... is so nice right there when it's wet say that just that just wipes it right off okay going to punch that in there to get some kind of color on it right now and I don't want it to be white because the mixed uh, not the mixed mode but the other is going to be white And I don't want, and I am going through with the eyeshadow applicator, and I'm just picking up the excess color. Okay. Which works really, really well when it's wet. It doesn't work well when you let it dry. Like I had. But it's working well where it's wet. What is that? Why is there a line there? That's weird. Oh, 
little tail. But I can't tell with the other. Okay. Okay, I don't know y'all. I think we would have been better off to leave that alone. And now this lettering, because it's raised, I'm going to wait and do that afterwards. Okay, let me move this side. Let me get this up here. my way so I can pour some polyurethane and it works my brushes off. I don't think this is going to be level. I'm wondering if I do it in mixed mold versus polyurethane if I could sand it down but we're gonna do it with polyurethane hopefully I have enough polyurethane left to do it with oh. 
Okay. I've got to get some gloves, but I'm trying to wipe my hands off a little bit before I put gloves on. To get some of the grain paint off. I didn't get it all off. So, I'm wondering how much I'm going to need. I see little spots everywhere. Okay. I'm going to mark this real fast if I can. Because I think I'm going to have to reuse those. I am totally out of Oh, goodness, that was, that was A. Okay, I have them reversed. Now I am going to do this and... I just want why is it doing that? Why won't it come out? That's all I want. I just want a little bit just to you see how much is in here right I mean it's not much it's still on the stick 
Okay. One. Two. Three. And I hope that's enough. And I know I'm trying to hurry. I just wanted almost like a parchment paper color. That was it. There's lots of bubbles. Okay, we're going to leave it that way. Those are bubbles. <sighs> okay, I can't get. Let me see if I've got one of those. I don't think I have any more of those. Uh, micro brushes, that's what I'm looking for to catch. Nope, that's not working either. I need to leave alone. Okay, yep. I need to leave alone. It's turning. It is turning. And it's turning white. I did not put enough color in there. Oh, well. See, as pigmented as it was before, I was afraid. Wow, that's moving fast. Take these gloves off. I'll put some more on if I need to. I have paint. 
Oh, and it was so funny. You see my sleeves? You see that? I love this shirt, but I was at the, when I was at the hospital, waiting for Debbie to get discharged. I'm sitting there picking mixed mold. Seriously, this has been washed a couple of times and I didn't realize it was on there. Picking mixed mold off the inside of my sleeves here. Yeah, you can still see some of it still left on there. <laughs> I couldn't believe that. Mm. This is the fun part. Waiting and watching. Oh, I did place another Timu order, y'all. I know, I know. But it was because I saw this seahorse, and, and some of y'all may have seen it too, uh, on Facebook in one of the groups. And I'm hoping it's as detailed as what it looked like, because this was so ornate. And it was like it just, every little line in it just reached out to you. And it was like... I went on a hunt. I copied the image and did a Google search by the image. And that's how I found it, y'all. So if you ever see uh, something that somebody's done and you're wondering where they got the mold, do a Google image search. And if Timu's got it, Timu's going to show it to you. Timu comes up first in search. Uh, and that's how I found it. And it was like on a lightning deal. And they didn't have very many left. And so I had to place an order for, I think it was 15 They don't make me do a $20 order, but it was 15 So I had to do at least $15. And because my first order didn't cost me anything, I thought, well, let me do it. So I did, I did like a 16 I don't know, it was 16 62 or something. Just so I could get that mold. Um, but I got a few other things too. But I'm excited about that. Because if it's half as good as I think it's going to be, oh, it's going to be awesome. And I'm sitting here thinking, if there's something else I could be doing while we're waiting for that to get hard. And I don't think there's anything that we can do within about... 10 minutes. This is supposed to be ready in 10 minutes, but I don't think it's going to be ready in 10 minutes. What do y'all think? I know. You're all screaming at me right now saying, Beth, leave it alone. I know y'all. I can hear you. <laughs> and you know what? I have put these up here since... When y'all told me I could use these to help prop my mold, I have put those up here, but I have not used them since then. There's that little unicorn that I made. I still think it's pretty. I love the color. That's That was um, alcohol ink. I love the way that turned out. Oh, and I meant to make a mold of that, too, and I forgot. I thought that would make a cute keychain. Think it's ready to take out? Nope. Oh, no, it's too, it's real bendy. Okay, hmm. Okay, I am. I'm gonna pause it and I'll come back when it's ready to go. Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm hoping this is dry. Oop, it feels dry. I don't have my gloves on. Boy, that would have been bad if <laughs> it's been about an hour, so I was pretty sure it was dry. It's a lot wider than I was hoping for. And I don't even know if this is gonna be even, but we're gonna find out. That looks horrible. That looks good. That looks horrible. 
but oh it's on there too boy let me tell you it is on there it's not horrible it's just not nice We'll see if we can fix it just a little bit. It's the man I don't like. Hmm. Oh, that's not working. Okay, let me try this. It's one brown. that gonna work the black the green I'm missing the green I think I don't think that's the right green let me just do this no this is not the right green There it is. There's the right color. I know it looks like a lot of dots right now, but bear with me for just a minute.
I'm trying to blend. These are markers, but I'm using this to sort of blend. Try to get some. Green up there. Okay, that's looking better. Okay. So let me get. Try to blend this a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's looking better. I want that off of there, though. Let me get the huggy out. Let's see if I can't get that off of there somehow. I can sand it off if nothing else. And I am going to sand that off because that does not look good. Okay, that looks better, and I know there's some iffy stuff down here, but good enough for the first time. Okay, and then I'm going to get my gold marker. Why did that do that? Where did that come from? That color. See how easy this is. This is not going to be that easy, but just barely. Oh, this is not going to be easy. I'm just barely touching it, and it's still getting too much.
Okay. Nope. Nope, that's not going to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm wiping this off. That is not going to work. It's coming out too much. So I'm going to use the rubbing by... It should not be this difficult. So let me get my rub and buff. Okay. Nope, that's not working either. Okay, we're just going to do it this way. be the first one to say this has not been one of my best pieces <laughs> I think the mold is nice I just wish I'd done it with mixed mold I can control the painting on it a lot better than this Nope. How did it get green in there? I wonder if I took some uh, ink. Some, I don't like that at all, y'all. What if I just painted it? What if I just spray painted the whole thing and started it all over again? No, I can't do that.
Okay, I'm trying to make it look old, okay? I'm trying to make it look roughed up and... I'm spraying it down with water to see what happens. Oh no, you can't see it. But I had to get all that. Okay, we're going to try one more thing, y'all, and then I'm going to say, well, the mold turned out good. <laughs> At least the mold turned out good. Okay. I am getting my gloves on for this though because I don't want my hands all stained up. I don't even know where that came from. I'll show you in a minute an up-close picture of what I'm using if you can't see the jar because it's
did that come from? See, I don't understand that. And that, look, that's weird. Where did that come from, y'all? Yeah, that's weird. I don't know where that came from. But those, that, that's just weird. I don't know what that is. That's I don't know, y'all. I'm not going to spend any more time on it because I don't know where these spots are coming from. I don't know where. I don't know what that is. But that is odd. I think I would have liked it. See, they're coming up all over the place, and I don't know what that is. I've never had. I don't know what that is. Do you see that? That is so strange. I don't know what that is. And it's right there too. And, and it's right in here. And it's... I don't know. I would have liked this if it hadn't have see what alcohol alcohol doesn't have as much effect on this as water does yeah see it doesn't really move for alcohol but it does for water I don't know y'all I don't I don't know see so watch this Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, that looks worse. I like it better dark which I'll probably spray paint it, okay? 
be quite honest with you, I'll probably spray paint it and start all over again and just do a, a wash. Do it all white and just do a wash. Because there's, I don't think there's anything that I can do to make this look better without doing that. Yeah, the more I mess with it, the worse it gets. <laughs> so. I know. I know I'm still messing with it. I, I have this problem with that one to leave. But I think it's, I think it's beyond fixing this way because there's too many. I don't know what those are. I don't know why it's doing that. I've never had a piece of polyurethane do that before. It's weird. Well, alrighty, y'all. Here is my wonderful project. <laughs> but uh, the mold is fine. Okay, the, the mold is fine. And I probably should have just spray painted it gold like the original. Now I can't even find the original. Oh, here it is. Say. I don't know what that is that was and this is i made a mold I, it's still got the sticky stuff in the back i have not cleaned that off it's still got the silicone and that's double-sided tape that i put uh on there to stick it down And this is an old piece. But as far as the mold goes, it picked up all the detail. It did. It actually picked it up quite well. Um, and this is hammered brass, even down to the little studs and this. And all the letters came out good. So as far as the mold goes, it turned out good. As far as the way I painted it, it did not turn out good. <laughs> but this is polyurethane. I think it would have been totally different if it had been a uh, mixed mold. But it's light. It is so, so light. And, and so I will spray paint it. I'll spray paint it white and then I will just do a I'll do a wash on it because I don't think chalk paint uh, I don't think chalk paint okay let's just see let's just see I don't think chalk paint is going to stick to it, but I can't even get it. I can't get it open. And there it goes.
I'm having to get it. I'm saying if this will work. I hate leaving something like that. Y'all should know that about me. So, we'll just see if this won't work real fast. I'm using one of these brushes that... Oh, y'all remind me not to wear this shirt anymore when I'm doing crafts. Bell sleeves is not a sleeve type to be wearing. Just leaving bad marks. This may not have been a good decision as far as brush wise. A softer brush. Oh yeah, it's leaving bristles. Oh, yeah, those are bristles. Oh, poo. Okay, this is a softer brush. If I can get the bristles from that other brush. Y'all don't use those old brushes that uh, came with Brie Erase the Mixed Mold because that's what that is. See? Mixed Mold brush. Yeah, and this is a, a softer brush, and as you can tell, you don't get the streaks. Well, you get streaks, but not nearly the same amount as you do. Well, it looks better than it did. <laughs> no. And we're going to dry this real quick. Handy dandy. Hold your ears. Normally I would not dry it like this. Normally I would, oh. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the bristles in there. So I don't wanna mess it up. And normally I wouldn't dry it like this. Normally I'd let it set for about an hour. Those bristles are all in this bad brush. But since this is the very first one, and normally I don't stress too much with my very first one from a new mold, because I'm learning where everything is. And I'll know what to do and what not to do when I pour it again.
Okay. Now we're going to do the matte sealant because if you don't seal it when you, before you put it on there, it just soaks right into that and we don't want that. So we're going to put the sealant on there. I almost wish I had a big old sponge to do this with. Mm-hmm. I saw that little piece. I had to get it out of that where that E was. Okay. Good enough. going to dry this again really fast. And it doesn't take long to dry. I'm just putting a thin coat on. You know it's dry when it's not shining anymore because what I used was the matte sealer. I sanded this down if some of the grain would come through, which would look cool. I don't care about sanding any of that down, but sanding a little bit of the grain down on the edges to see if some of the grain would come through. Let me see if I can do that real fast. Just to see. I'll just test it. Sandpaper is not not good. Just a little bit of the Rain coming through. Let me get another big brush to blow to brush that off. 
Yeah, just a touch of the grain coming through. Okay, I'm just brushing that off to get it. It was just to get a little bit of the grain. I don't know. I'm going to spray this down because I want I want it to be a loose. I don't want it to be real uh, dark I'm just trying to make sure that it gets all in there. I'm making sure that it's in all the little crevices. Okay, I'm going to take a huggy, I think. And I'm just going to do this. And this looks much better. This looks much, much better. That makes it look really old because it looks like the paint 
has actually chipped off of there, which is really cool, which makes me wonder if I should do this right here. There's one gnat. There's always just one gnat. I guess I'm going to have to name them since I can't get rid of them. Sorry guys, I'm swatting at the gnat. It's getting right in my eye right now and I can't. Oh my word. I have been struggling with that gnat for weeks now. Okay, and I'm going to try really hard just to get the top one done. Not all the, just the one that says Ten Commandments. If it wouldn't come out so fast.
That looks better, huh? Okay. Well, that I can that I can deal with. So you you can see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to. There's a little bit of overage right there. Not much though. Um. So. I'm okay with that. Uh, is it the best? No, it's not. But, I mean, you saw, <laughs> you saw what it looked like before, okay? So, that was the original. That is from the mold. So what do y'all think? I'm happy with that now. And that didn't take very long. You saw how fast I did that. So, um, yeah. So when all else fails, get you some chalk paint. Chalk paint is a wonderful thing to have. And, yeah. At least you can tell what that is. And I could add a little bit of green. But I'm going to stop here. I'm just going to stop here and say... Enough's enough. Because I'm content with it. Alrighty, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. And for those of you that stayed after you saw how horrible it looked. <laughs> Some of you may have left and said, oh no, I can't watch anymore. But for those of you that stayed until the end, thank you so much. I'm going to ask you if you'll hit that thumbs up like button for me. Um... If you're not subscribed, um, I would love for you to do so. And and honestly, I do have some wins sometimes. You know, <laughs> they don't always come out like this. And and this is this is a win, as far as I'm concerned, because I was just showing you that I made the mold out of this and and I poured it. And normally I wouldn't pour this in polyurethane. I would pour this. In mixed to mold but polyurethane sometimes is a little bit um, uh, quicker and it's a lot lighter and I wasn't sure about the weight with the mixed mold so if you're not subscribed I would love for you to do so um, Facebook group we would love to see you over there all the links you need are in the description box below and I hope that I will see you again um, Probably not Tuesday, but hopefully Wednesday. And I do have hopes to go to Salvation Army on Thursday uh, to do another haul video. So, um, I'm hoping I can get at least, my goal is to get at least four videos a week right now. Um, I'd love to do five, and I can't wait till I can get back to doing seven. But right now, four is what my goal is uh, a week. So, uh, be sure to leave a comment for me. So just, if nothing, to say hi. Uh, I love hearing from all of you. If you have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comments. And I do my best to get back to you on those. Um, and if I don't know the answer, uh, I'll help you find the answer. Alrighty, y'all have a great night, and I will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.